It's a new week, heading to a client's office to go over some wireframes I did over the weekend. Should be pretty exciting. Right, the meeting went pretty great. I'll tell you more about my new wireframing process in a second, but first, gotta go grab lunch and catch up with some friends I haven't seen in a while. Right, so I wanna share with you the process for the wireframe that I did this time. I tried a new process which made my work super productive and the presentation today actually went pretty well. And so if you've been watching the vlog for a while, you know that last time I tried to create wireframes using Google Drawing and my reason was that I wanted to easily share it with my client and let them have the ability to kind of edit the text themselves. But there were two issues with this process. One of them was that they didn't actually use the ability to edit the text, they just kind of left notes on the wireframes. And the second thing was that it was a hassle to actually create the wireframes in Google Drawing and then have to recreate all the design from scratch. And so this time, I wanted to try a new process to try to be more effective. And if you've been watching last week, you know that I had to do this over the weekend and I didn't want to lose time with my wife and kids, so I tried to be as productive as possible. And I actually got to do the wireframe that I needed to do in two hours. Woke up at 5 a.m., finished by 7 o'clock before my wife and kids woke up, so I didn't lose time with them, which was super great. I want to show you the new process, which I feel worked really well for me. So the first thing that I tried was to use Envision's new tool, Freehand. Let me show you. Basically, it's a tool where you can uh, kind of draw uh, whatever you want, and you can quickly do things like uh, create a screen or something like that to create an interface and then you can share this with your client but even though what I showed you uh, looked pretty simple to do I actually tried to create a whole page of, of not not an app a website using this and it was not it took me a lot of time and then I thought I don't want to waste a lot of time on this how can I be more productive and then I remember that my friend McKinsey just told me that he built uh, kind of a wireframing kit so I said let's give that a try I downloaded the kit let me show you how this looks basically it's super great it, it contains a lot of blocks that are already ready-made as you can see here these are uh, examples of hero blocks uh, these are callouts pricing blocks so you have tons of ready-made uh, elements which you can just copy paste he actually ha already has kind of landing page layouts and stuff like that so what I did was actually started with this landing page just copy paste it let me show you into a new a new file and then just bring in the other elements that I needed to kind of structure the wireframe. Now, one thing that I was missing was the ability to actually uh, add the real text because when I'm presenting wireframes to my client, part of it, a major part of it is the, the, the context, which is the text, like what are the headlines? And sometimes this is the final text, sometimes we do revisions on the text, but it's hard for me to actually go in and design without having some kind of text even if it's a first version of the text so i actually had to uh go on into this sketch file and do detach from symbol because this is all symbols and then kind of actually um replace those with some kind of a text that i wrote here uh this is the title um so actually put in the text himself but i've already one thing that i did was already created styles so then when the next step comes when i have to redo the design i can just globally change the styles and the design will be updated so this is pretty cool so once i created the whole structure for the wireframe that i needed um, i used the plugin um, craft from envision to just do something like create a new prototype demo uh, wireframes you do create prototype it you see with a second uh, syncs to envision and then you can just open it up 
on Envision. Now, this allowed me to do two things that I needed to do this time. This time I had to show uh, in the navigation kind of drop down menu, and this is a bit of interactivity that I couldn't do with uh, Google Drawing. And in Envision, it was pretty easy to add this kind of hover interaction to show them what will happen when you hover the menu, what items will be on them. And so I just presented this kind of uh, Envision to my clients. And the, the good thing about this, is uh, let me show you when you click the the link when you open this link now my client can just see the you know the wireframes on there and just add comments and actually in the presentation themselves when they had feedback on what I did we actually left comments such as uh, we need to rethink this title and so the whole meeting is actually documented in uh, in kind of comments on the on the wireframes, which Envision then tech uh, converts into kind of a task list. So I have all my feedback already, uh, you know, written down as task. And obviously, I send them the link, and I told them you can you know go over this and you know sleep on this and think about this and add more comments later on. Um, so this process, what I just showed you, now I showed you this in like two minutes, but I actually spent two hours to actually create the structure and write the text that I needed. But I think that two hours to create a wireframe for, was basically the home page. I feel like it's been super, super productive and I like this new uh, process. I always try to look for hacks to things that I can use you know, ready-made, and, and this kid by McKinsey did a super great job for me. Um, I'll put the link to it in the description so if you guys think that it can be helpful for you, go check it out. And um, yeah, I was, honestly, I was actually excited for <laughs> for Envision's freehand tool. I wanted this to work for me, but honestly, it didn't work for me. But just using, you know, the sync with, with Sketch and Envision, now I have the wireframe already set up on a grid, already with my uh, with my styles on it. To convert it into a design will be just you know putting in the style, putting in the artwork, and just clicking sync. And my client will already have the link to see the updated design. So I feel this is really really good workflow, and I'm happy with it. Anyway, whew, it was a pretty fun day actually. I'm glad I got time to sit with with two friends friend for lunch and then another friend for coffee catch up a little bit it's a good fun days like this hope you guys have a great day as well and i'll catch you tomorrow